Well, today the, uh, the prison industrial complex is one in which you will find a lot of the prisons that are being built or have been built uh, in rural white communities that has been devastated from the uh, removal of the blue collar factors, the manufacturing industry that went either to China or to India or to Mexico or that it was uh, basically shipped offshore for a cheap labor force. Uh, it devastated those rural areas uh, and it left large uh, segments of the population unemployed. Uh, it also devastated the urban communities that uh, had a lot of the blue collar workers in the various factories. Uh, so you had two unemployed populations and now uh, you build prisons in the rural areas and you employ the uh, unemployed population in the rural areas that uh, become guards, become teachers, become medical staff, become maintenance people, become supplier of goods. And then at the same time, you incarcerate at an enormous rate the urban populations who's also unemployed and they become prisoners and they are housed in those areas. And uh, in many cases, they're counted as population of those rural areas and federal funds and state funds and local funds go uh, to those municipalities for both populations. Uh, and it, it devastates the urban communities and the uh, uh, inner city communities where the, the actual captive population comes from and it, it, it further debilitates the ability to have a community uh, and to have a community that's, that's somewhat intact with fathers, uh, mothers, sisters, brothers, uh, uncles and aunts uh, uh, disappearing from the community at an alarming rate and it's, it's really kind of like the final kind of thing that uh, uh, capitalism can do when it when it, it runs out of its ability to continue to employ people in a profitable middle way for the ruling class and the people that own this means of production and uh at this point they have they have no use for that broad workforce other than to use the prisons uh uh, for the control of both communities and at the same time try and, and successfully uh, uh, execute a, a sense of divide and conquer in terms of race relationships and people working together, white people as uh, uh, and black people together to look at the real issues of why they're impoverished or why they're in conflict.